Are you interested in including a team building session on your next team offsite, but you're just not sure where to start? Here are three quick tips that you can follow for the perfect team building session. Number one, choose an activity to suit your venue. If your event is booked at a country house hotel, then use the grounds and patio areas if you can. The fresh air will energise your delegates after lunch and you can enjoy the beautiful setting. If your event is in a town centre, then use a table-based activity or get them moving with a treasure hunt in the streets surrounding your venue. Don't waste time travelling to another location. There are loads of mobile options that can come to you without wasting networking time and budget by travelling again. Number two, choose an activity to suit your time slot. Some team building activities are a little more involved and tend to take a couple of hours to complete. These activities need the time for the teams to understand what they have to do, get organised and feel like they've actually engaged and given a good account of themselves. With that in mind, don't try and run a two hour event in 60 minutes. It will just feel rushed, the teams won't engage and the activity will fall flat. If you have only sort of 45 minutes, um, then consider a short, sharp, energetic uh, event with an icebreaker feel, such as learning the hacker, drumming or creating a piece of art. Number three, connect the team activity to the why of your offsite. You know, after receiving a more motivating morning update from your senior leadership team, it can be a bit random if you suddenly find yourself undertaking a, a weird team building activity. One way around this is to link the team activity to the morning's message. Was it a message of unity? Is it all changed now? Uh, will you need to take things up a gear? Choose a team activity that links to your off-site's why to engage more people and make the session more powerful. Needless to say, if you need some help with this, get in touch.